Okay, so here we are working on our second row, which is our foundation corner. So again, you can probably see that I keep moving my tail away from myself so I don't catch it. So we're going to do our chain three start, which gives us the height we need to start our next row. Now, let's just look at this a little bit more. And I'm going to pull my camera down a little bit more so you can see. <clears throat> So what's happened here is we've got our stage, um, our starting chain three right here. But what's happened is, is we've started on the next row over our granny square. So what I like to think of in these spaces is that we've got our, our corner spaces here that we work in and then our granny clusters. And that means that we've got a negative and a positive space. So the negative space is the unfilled space. And the positive space is the um, the filled space. So my lights keep dimming for some reason. Just trying to make sure everything's connected properly. So what we're going to do, because we've got to create a bridge and a gap here. Just move that out of the way. Um, a gap right here. We're going to need to create a bridge. And that bridge is that chain one for our future flat spaces or flat clusters, as I call them. And then we're going to work directly into this space here, which is a chain space with our corner clusters. So we've got our starting chain of three, which is our fake treble. We now need to create our chain one, which means we've got four chains here. But what we do have is our starting chain plus one. Then we're going to yarn over. And again, you can see that I'm anchoring exactly where I'm going to work. We go straight into that space, pull the yarn through, yarn over again and then pull through two and pull through two. So the moment that's going to look really odd and this is where mistakes can happen, but we'll come back to that shortly. Yarn over, go into that corner space. Now your corner spaces should have a cluster and then a corner in the previous row, okay? So you can see here you've got those four clusters. And if you look at your book, you have an illustration there to show you that a little bit more clearly. And that's the spaces you're working into. So it's one corner cluster per chain space on this row. So yarn over, go through that space, yarn back through, yarn over, go first two, the first two, and you do the same again. Then we chain two, and then we go back into that space because we're creating our first corner cluster. So we need another cluster in there to make it the 45 degree angle that we're looking for, which is the corner of our cluster. Yarn over, go back into that same chain space and repeat the same three trebles to create one granny cluster. There you go. Then chain space. And then you do the same again. So the bit I just missed out there because I just went really quick. I'm really sorry. Let me just go back. <clears throat> okay so it's chain one because that's the bridge above your cluster below and then you create your next and then you move on to your next cluster into the next chain space so one two three so that's one cluster chain two because we always have a chain two in the corner Never on the flats, but always in the corner. And then we create another cluster into that same space because that's part of our cluster corner. Oops, keep looking, picking it up. Okay, so you can see how you've got two corners developing now, look. So chain one again. And then work your next corner cluster into the next chain space, like so. chain two and then another treble like so chain two now this is the end corner that you're going to find difficult so when we start this row we say start chain three plus one work your next chain space as a corner cluster chain one and then repeat that twice. 
Then when we get to here, this is where the pattern slightly changes to adapt for the starting chain. So we're going to do our first cluster into the corner. And then chain two. Now, this is where it gets tricky and this is where you can have a wobble. So just be mindful that the wobble is about to happen. <laughs> we have our chain three here, which acts as our last treble, which means that we've already got one third of our cluster completed. So all we need to do now is to create the other two thirds of that cluster in order for our corner cluster to be our last corner cluster to be completed. So chain two, so chain two, and then do your next two trebles. Oops. And then you count one, two, three. So do what we did before. Go through the first one, like so. Pull back and then push back through the back one and then you can get through to them easier. Okay, and that is your first or second row. And you can see how that corner is starting to build. So we'll do another chain three. And as you can see, this time, uh, chain three is starting from the left the right hand side of our cluster so we can now complete that cluster if it starts on the left hand side which means we, we're coming to it because if we're right-handed we're working from the right to left it means we're, we're meeting up with our starting chain which means we finish um, our cluster that way so it's part of our cluster from the end part if we're doing it so in this situation where it's working from the right it means that our starting chain starts first and then our trebles and that completes that stitch so let's just do our first cluster which is our first flat cluster and from this point onwards as your blanket grows out so your corners will remain the same your lengths of your flats or your sides will grow with each row an additional um, an additional cl um, cluster. <clears throat> so we only chain one on the flats and we only chain two in the corners. So two. So let's do our first corner cluster of our row three because we're now into row three which is our building of our granny square. But this is where it gets easier from this point because the pattern itself or the method kind of explains itself. Wherever there's a, um, a chain space below, you have to fill it. So chain one. Chain two. So that's our flat. Chain one again. So there's, there's one chain either side. And then, oops, this is our second corner cluster. One, two. Look at me, I'm rushing along and I'm forgetting my chains. See, so if you do frog back, one of the things you can do, and it's good that this has happened. So let's just go back to here because I don't think I put the chains in here. So I put my hook into where I think I've gone wrong or what I've missed. So let's just re-establish my wall. Chain one and then work through so, so, so when I'm doing um, blankets myself I don't always put a 
the chain in them and I don't always use a treble I use a half treble so they're a little bit tighter but for teaching I think this is the better method because it's a, a little bit easier to handle um, and for you to see so I just fell back into um, habits and I was having a bit of a conversation in my head I think <laughs> oops <clears throat> okie dokie Oops, are those these? There we go. And one, two, three, four. There we go. And a chain. And we're on to our last corner cluster. Now I know I'm speeding through, and you're probably thinking, my goodness, slow down. Um So remember two chains in every corner one chain on the flats just so you can make the chain space a nice size for you to work into so for every chain space there is which i class as a negative um then you have a positive which is your cluster so chain one because we still need our chain one there and then one two three so go for the, the front part of the loop which is the first part of the V and then you can push through the back and it's a bit easier than trying to come across your way through and then slip stitch to finish so that is your chain so we've got one two three so we've got three rows there let me just turn around and have a look <clears throat> at where we are so the next one we are going to do will be changing colour so I will stop the video here and then we'll come back and we will work on changing colour and the closed granny swear. So we're going to establish a couple of new stitches for you just so you've got something different to do and to build on.